Okay, so we've downloaded Rails, we've installed it, seems ready to go. Uh, so let's create a project, fire this up and see if we've installed it correctly. So I'm back in my git bash here and I'm still in that .ssh directory. So I'm going to change directory into C and then I'm going to make a directory and let's just call this, I don't know, our site. Now we can change directory into our site pwd to make sure we are okay so we're in this directory we type in ls there's nothing there so let's generate a new rails project so we just go rails new and let's just call this my site simple and we see rails command not found so what happened is we installed rails and i didn't restart this bash thing so it still doesn't know rails has been installed yet you have to actually restart it so i'm just going to close this and go to my Windows Start menu and type in git and the git bash thing pops up. You can't see this on the screen, but there it is. So now we can just change directory back into what do we call it? Our site. Still nothing in there. So now let's go Rails new and let's call it my site. And then boom, we get all this stuff happening happening. And it says the latest bundler is one point whatever to update it do that so we'll go back and look at that when it all finishes and you can see it's doing all its stuff make this bigger if we want yeah right here to update run gem install bundler so we we'll probably do that when this all finishes and it looks like it's working so far no errors which is fantastic i don't generally get errors this soon into it so i'm i'm pretty confident at this point Usually the errors start when we try to run our first uh, project. When we run the server and look at the website and it doesn't exist or something, we get a bunch of errors then. We'll see what happens um, when that happens. Okay, so let's look through here. You want to read these last few things just to see if it gives you any instructions. And blah, blah, blah. Doesn't look like it. Let's head back up here. I'm just scrolling up. And it says to update run gen install bundler. So I can just right click and copy. Come back down here, right click and paste. And just fire that guy up. Okay, so successfully installed the latest version. Installing blah, blah, blah. One gem installed. So now I just like to give it a bundle install command just to make sure. Uh, could not locate gem file. Interesting. Let's try that again. Oops. Wrong command. Bundle install. Could not locate gem file. Okay, so we're getting this weird error. So let's go ahead and close this again and open it one more time. I'll go to my Windows Start menu and type in git. See this, but you probably know how to do this already. Now cd into c r site. Oh, that's what's wrong. So okay, so pwd. We're in our site, right? We ran that command and it generated this new directory, my site. So all of our stuff is in that directory. So we need to change into that directory, my site. And here we see this master guy. So it has already installed git for us and it looks like it's initial, initialized it. Uh, but we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Uh, let's clear the screen now if we hit ls. We see all of our files that we would expect to be there. And now if I run bundle install, it'll work because there's our gem file. And it looks like everything is updated. Um, didn't look like it needed to update anything. Uh, if we go bundle update, it might. It's probably a good idea. Just to get that going. So it's fetching these gems from rubygems.org and everything is updated and good to go. So. It seems like we're we're already good to go. So um, I'm going to open up Sublime Text. And I've got a bunch of other stuff here. Close this. And I'm going to go to Project and then Add Folder to Project. And then you just want to navigate to the C directory and whatever folder that we just created. And then we created, it was called our site, I think. I have a bad memory. Uh, our site right there. 
and then my site, you could just highlight it and you don't have to, don't double click it, just highlight it and click select folder. And then boom, it bops in all of these files and folders for our Rails project. And this is our, the entirety of our Ruby on Rails project right here. And I'm using the Sublime Text Editor. It's at sublimetext.com. It's totally free. Every once in a while, you get a little message saying, if you like this, please donate, but you don't have to donate. Again, if you like it though, it's not a bad idea to throw them guys some money. This is a really good text editor, but you can use absolutely any text editor that you want. It doesn't matter at all, but we're gonna be using Sublime for this course. And uh, if you wanna follow along, go ahead and download it. So we're pretty much good to go. We've got everything installed that we need to, to get started. In the next video, we'll go ahead and initialize Git and uh, you know set up our version control and then move on from there.